Hello everybody, it's been a year since I filmed this, so some things will be out of order, but let's get into it. I was back working on the KNT to HL CNC conversion. Wow, that's a mouthful. I think I left off with some problems with the shield doors. It had problems with opening and closing the doors, so I started working on this actuator unit. It extends sideways and pushes the doors out into position and can then pull them back in. When I installed this, I also replaced the door hinges and locked the two door halves together. This makes the whole assembly much stiffer. The middle window also got its own hinge now, so it can be folded out of the way. To catch all the ships, they should be even taller, especially when using compressed air for ship evacuation. But with that said, they do keep the mess contained much better than before. And folded in, they let you work freely around the machine. Here's an older demo of how it deploys. I also went ahead and attached some rubber covers in front of the Y axis. This is both to protect the slideways and the Y axis homing switch. I think that's also a change from last video. Uh, the machine now has homing switches in all axes. I did not think it would be needed, but it's actually been a game changer for me. It's super convenient just letting it home and then it knows where it is. Uh, I also made up a cover for the X-axis motor and switch as well. It's just some sheet metal scrap bent into shape. Next thing I really wanted to try was having a better coolant solution and also some more light on what I was milling. You can already see this piece on the previous pics, but um, let's call it time travel. I wasn't really sure what I was aiming for here, just making up as I went along. Eventually things just added up to this monstrosity. It has three functions, air blast, air blast with some cutting fluid, and then flood without air. There's also a whole bunch of LEDs to light up the work area. Whilst it was fun making, it is quite a bit too big and gets in the way quite a lot. Needs a second revision in the future. On topic of the functions, there's a three step switch on the control panel that lets you set which mode you want. And the switch below it goes between manual, off and automatic. Automatic would let the CNC controller start the coolant, but I have not plugged that part in yet. First mode is just air. Great for clearing ships and plastic. Second mode is adding some cutting fluid, great for aluminium to prevent galling. Some aluminiums are fine, but some will very quickly clog your end mill without coolant, and this tends to snap end mills. Third mode is just adding lots of cutting fluid, a weak flood I guess. This is nothing compared to a real CNC machine. Uh, I thought this would be super useful in steel, but I often end up using the second mode more because it's more efficient at clearing ships, especially when slaughtering. Recutting steel ships is a great way to ruin your animals. Whilst the mill does have its own coolant tank in the base, it's incredibly difficult to clean and I prefer not using it. Instead I did a temporary solution with this container behind the mill. There's a tiny little pump on it which works but can be tricky to get the right flow from. All flow from the table will go through this hose to the container at the back. I have some ideas on how to improve the setup quite a bit, but that's for the future. The pump fills up the little distributor pipe with two solenoid valves. One goes to the mist function and one goes to the flood function. There's also a third solenoid valve controlling the pressurized air, connected through a pressure regulator since most jobs don't require that much pressure. Usually one bar is enough, but I have 10 bars in my air compressor tank. So with those upgrades, the mill is up and running, somewhat reliably. I've done a whole bunch of different projects on it, so enjoy some footage of that. There will probably be a part 4 of this project in the future, but I've had way too much to do last year to even get started on it. As always, thanks for watching and I hope it was amusing. Goodbye.